I haven't done a favourite in quite a long time. So this one, I will warn you, has quite a lot of things. Number one really had to be the Sunflowers for Jacqueline jewellery. I'm doing In Memory of Jacqueline. I'm sure you all would have seen this by now. I mentioned it before when it launched on my channel, on all my social media, and I do wear it every day. So the necklace you'll see me wearing in every video is the Sunflowers for Jacqueline necklace and this ring as well. I do really want to bring more into the collection, bracelets, earrings, maybe a smaller ring, because I know for some people this is quite chunky, it's quite big. Obviously this has such a very special place in my heart and it's raising awareness for such a good cause because £15 from each sale goes to Rethink Mental Illness. I did this in collaboration with Bloody Mary Metal, an amazing jewellery, independent company company run by the amazing Lucy. I met her before and Jacqueline also met her and I've worked with her for such a long time and she reached out to check if everything was okay back when everything happened and I'd always wanted to create something with them, never really knew what it was and then it just felt very fitting. So obviously I had to mention this as a favourite because I wear this all the time and I have very happy memories when I see it. Second are hair favourites. I've kind of bulked things in as like hair things and makeup things because as I said there's quite a few things. The first is this Tangle Teaser. So these are longer. This is great for thicker and also curly hair. My hair, believe it or not, is actually quite thick without the extensions in and with the extensions in obviously much thicker. So these are really good for brushing through your extensions, also long hair, curly hair as it's designed for. Wet hair, it's really good for it as well. So this is actually my favourite of their hairbrushes. Another hair favourite uh, has to be these extensions. Obviously Foxy Locks, I've always used Foxy Locks for however many years that I have been ever wearing extensions. These are the Seamless Luxurious, Luxurious? that's how you say it, seamless luxurious extensions. These are 24 inches, they're very very long. I kind of feel they're not quite as thick, I think, as the superior. These are a greater weight in total, but I think that's more to do with the length, I want to say. don't actually have the complete set in there, I do have two single wefts I haven't put in. So with the seamless, instead of them being sewn on, they are kind of bonded with, I think it's silicone, I don't really know, but it just feels so much flatter on the head and also they don't shed as much as well, so I think they're amazing. I get them in Platinum Blonde and I dye them myself. So that brings me on to my next favourite and that is, oh, they're on the floor. The colours that I use currently are these two, so I use Jade at the top and then I use ice throughout. I'm going to do a video all about these because I've had so many people asking me questions about them. It's a spray and hair colour, it's temporary. So this is in, oh I featured the wrong one. So yeah, ice is what I have on my ends. This is a strawberry tone colour and the first colour I showed you which was wrong is steel blue. It's just the most convenient pastel colour I've ever been in my life and it's so easy to top up and to maintain and I can wear my extensions with them because it's always the same colour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where do I put these? Moving on to homeware, if you follow me on things like my Snapchat, you'll see that I'm obsessed with homeware and with the whole move I did get a lot of things. I just couldn't stop buying and nesting and DIYing and stuff. First item is this. It's huge. It's so fluffy. This is a faux fur throw from Berries and Grey. Berries and Grey, if you don't follow them, uh, if you're in Norwich, I have another store, I think it's in Cornwall, and they are the most Instagrammable shops ever. And in Norwich, it's down in the arcade, and it's just this beautiful homeware shop, and this is their throw. This is in Snow White. I've been told they don't have it in store or online, but if you would like this one in particular that you can inquire and they can get it in for you. So the back is this, again this is like a faux fur, it's like a shorter, it's very heavy, beautiful quality. So definitely check them out on Instagram. They have Snapchat too, this is all going on my mouth. Uh. My next homeware favourite had to be my copper rail. I got two of these from the Little Deer and I got a custom length, so I actually got it longer. Pretty clothes, it has a nice kind of aesthetic colour, goes on the rail. Last homeware favourite is this marble vinyl. I feel a bit late to the bandwagon of this, but this is amazing. And it's, I don't really think it's that expensive. This longer version is £6 something, the smaller one is £5 something, and I have just marbled the house. Start off in the bathroom and the spare toilet. I think I've got like four or five small DIYs I'm just going to do in one video because 
I love marble and it's so easy to do. On to makeup, there is quite a lot. Eyeshadow palettes, also a lipstick palette. This is the Shan XO palette. I think it might have been reduced when I got it and the colours are beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing this colour as like a base. Then I have this in the crease, darkening and darkening with these. And I actually use makeup brushes, which if you've ever watched my makeup tutorials, I don't use brushes to do my eyes. And people either love that or hate it. It's a very mixed reaction to that. I luckily got sent a load of Urban Decay brushes, which is insane. I've actually also been using the angled brow one because I have completely, well, I not completely, not drastically, but I have changed how I've done my brows. It actually really balanced my face. And when I look at pictures of how I had my brows before, they look tiny and skinny and I laugh at myself. But back to brushes. I have been using the flat eyeshadow to first do the base. The tapered blending, I really love this for doing the socket, the crease, and then I use the large blending to just to neaten the edges. Really easy to use. I'm just not one usually for brushes because there's so many and I find it a bit overwhelming, but I really have loved been using those especially. I love highlights. I started off very natural with like hourglass and the look of a glow, then I progressed to the Mary Luminizer, then I progressed to this, and it has that whole, I hope it's like showing, I don't really know how the light's catching me right now, but I'm in love. This is the Glow Kit in Gleam. I always use Stardust mixed with Crush Pearl here, here, and then up here. Then with a smaller brush, I do around the side of my lips, keep this bow down here, down my nose, and in the inner corners. And I'm loving the highlight. And on the opposite scale, the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. This is very pigmented. I kind of think it depends on your base, your foundation that you're using. If I use, for instance, the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation, even if I powder on top, if I then use this, it's very pigmented on my face. Today I've used the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation, and on that, it works really, really well. I did have a very sad moment with this middle one. It just broke apart and just fell out. So that's a shame. I always start with this one, you know, like buffering it in all around the sides of my face, down my nose, and for a little bit more oomph, I want it a bit more chiseled going on, I do a touch of this. This is really great for the balloonness I have in my dark circles because they're pretty dark. And then this I use to brighten up this sides, like these sides, these sections, of my face will definitely repurchase when I run out because I'm touch and pan on this like touch and pan it could be with my beauty blogger terminology perfume now I have probably mentioned this and if you are a long time follower you know I don't really change up my perfume a whole lot I was sent this and I tried it and I'm not gonna lie I don't particularly like the packaging it's called bonbon bon. it looks like a sweet I get that but personally I wasn't a massive fan of the packaging Victor and Rolf bonbon bon perfume I just sprayed it on in the day and forgot about it Paul my boyfriend came back and was like you smell amazing like what are you what are you wearing like he loved it and from that approval I now wear this every day it does smell sweet but it isn't sickly and it has quite an adult smell to it I'm not very good at explaining smells I would definitely say spray it on you wear it through the day and get other people's reactions to it see if it bothers you and see if other people like the smell I think that's quite a good bit of advice for any perfume you try on to skin care I have been using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is the 24 hour everyday hydrating formula and this is the limited edition with Laura Mavula for Staying Alive MTV. Joining forces to empower young women around the world. I kind of feel like since I've been using this, which is coming to three weeks, I've only had two breakouts and here's one trying to come out now. So I don't know if it is to do with this or not but I haven't changed anything at all with my skincare just this and my skin has got clearer so I want to say it's this I did actually film an unboxing I bought this I waited two weeks for me to film an unboxing and uh, because I've just been you know crap at life and stuff never edited it I'm thinking if you guys would like a review I might do a review because before buying this bag I watched several reviews on 
I didn't know what size to get. This is the Saint Laurent baby sac du jour. I didn't know whether to get this size or the normal sac du jour size. Watching reviews on YouTube, I settled for this and I am so glad I went for the baby and not the full size. If you want me to do a review on it, where I got it, how I got discount, more about it, then I would actually like to because I watched reviews and it helped me make a very, I think, informed purchase. And I can also include the clips of me opening it up to show you how it did come packaged. I have been using this every day since then. This is my everyday bag. I even added a little pom-pom on it from Accessorize, which I think looks adorable. Eighth favourite had to be the holiday. First we went to Canada for my friend's wedding. I will link down to the wedding video because it's so beautiful. Basically my friend Craig, one of my best friends from uni, we moved to Canada, fell in love with a guy he met through YouTube, so adorable, and they got married and I was a bridesmaid. They didn't have a photographer or videographer, so when I was up on stage, Paul would they film do bits for me and then when I was like not part of what was happening I was there filming and taking photos other people were filming too and they made it into a wedding video and it's beautiful you have to watch we went down there for five days to Canada it's the friendliest place I've ever been you walk down the street and people are like good afternoon you're just like hi this is very odd we don't really get that in I guess main cities. We then went to New York for eight days. I asked you guys on like Twitter and Instagram things we should do because we kind of didn't want to just do the usual tourist things. We wanted to you know, eat at good places that weren't really expensive. Just amazing response from you guys. Really, really made our holiday and I need to put that all together still. I really need to do a blog post and go in depth about everything that we did, all the places. Amazing to go away with Paul, our first holiday together and we had such a good time and he was amazing Instagram husband if you saw all my Instagram pictures they were all taken on my iPhone edited on my iPhone such good memories that favorite has to be best fiends and I play it all the time like Paul's like are you playing that game again I play it on the plane I play it on the tube you don't have to have internet to play it I've already described if you want to know more about the game and to be fair everyone's spoken about it so you probably have heard about it it's a very addictive game I want to see actually what level I'm on now I'm on level 77 like Pretty good. And my last favourite two things I've been watching on Netflix. So obviously everyone watched Stranger Things, that's amazing. So excited they're gonna do another series. And the current thing I'm watching at the moment with Paul is The Cosmos. I have learned so much. They make it so simple that you can easily understand these crazy things which are kind of just incom... I can't say that word. Incomprehensible. Incomprehen you cannot comprehend the scale and the vastness of like everything he just helps you understand it we're quite far into it i'm just so fascinated about the universe and about space and what's happened before the big bang and that they can look into the past um definitely highly recommended i literally just i'm learning so much and it's <laughs> i love watching it so those were all my favourites. I hope you've made it to the end. There were quite a lot of things in this. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Guess what we're doing today? Let's put some fake blood on you. Have you decided what you're doing? No. I see you're Googling pictures of pumpkins. What are you going to go for? <laughs>